The first time Victor Wembanyama and Luka Doncic faced each other was a masterclass. And this is everything we learned from the matchup. Before the game even started, the Mavericks had to be creative in practice to try to simulate and prepare for Victor's eight-foot wingspan. But on the first play of the night, all that preparation went out the door. Here, Kyrie finds himself isolated at the top of the key. He jabs right, then attacks left, only to then pull up for a jumper at the elbow. This is one of Kyrie's signature spots. But like everyone else before him, him, he learns that Wemby's eight-foot wingspan is absolutely as lethal as was advertised. This was actually Victor's first NBA game ever, and his first NBA basket would prove to be a thing of beauty. Devin Vassell comes off the staggered screen. Zach Collins rolls while Victor pops, and when Devin draws two defenders, he skips the pass to Wemby for the three. Remember this shot, because it will be the first of many. Here it is! The first point! in the career of Victor Wembanyama. But Victor was only getting started. Here, Trey Jones gets the handoff from Bassey and initiates a DHO for Wemby on the wing. Right after that, though, he sets a ball screen for him, which creates a momentary window of space, and Wemby doesn't let it go to waste. That is Derek Lively. He's the Mavs 7-1 rookie center, and he has a 7-foot, seven 7-inch seven wingspan. But his shot contest barely does anything to bother Wemby. After this, though, the Mavericks would give Victor his first valuable lessons in the end. NBA. Here, Kyrie uses the ball screen and pocket passes it to Derek Jones Jr. Derek gets into Victor's body, and since Victor wasn't set yet, Victor gets called for the defensive foul. Jones gets fouled by Wembenyama. In transition, Josh Green also makes a point to get into Victor's body to negate his shot blocking ability, and the awkward contact ends in another foul. Because of his incredible height and length, Victor has to be more cognizant of where his limbs are in space. Here, Wemby gets the ball in the post, but before he can even make a move, he gets called for an offensive foul. And just like that, the foul trouble begins. The thing is, he's so tall that when he puts out his forearm, it's already at the level of his defender's neck. By getting into foul trouble, Victor is actually putting his team at a massive disadvantage. But the thing that is impressive about him is how composed he is whenever a foul call doesn't go his way. Take a look at this play. Here, Josh Green hands off to Tim Hardaway Jr. who misses the three. Chetty Osman boxes out, but Grant Williams pushes him to get the offensive rebound. This is obviously a foul, and the ref calls it. But look at Grant's reaction. Super demonstrative, which is normal in the NBA. Now contrast that with Victor's reaction whenever he gets called for the foul. He is calm, collected, and shows more emotional control at age 19 than most players will ever develop over the course of their careers. The only time he gets emotional is when he is celebrating his teammates' successes on the court. And this level-headedness will prove to be very important over the course of this game, but not before Luka has anything to say about it. Luka is now in his sixth year, and in this game, he would give Victor the equivalent of a master's degree in how to bend the defense to your will. Here, Wemby and Sohan double Luka in the post. Tim Hardaway Jr. drifts to the strong corner to give Luka an outlet for the pass. Luka fakes the pass to Hardaway, which dislodges Wemby. Wemby's double. But when he sees Wemby recommit to the blitz, he doesn't just pass out of it right away. Instead, he fakes as if he's going to shoot, which makes Wemby commit even more. And only after that does Luka pass it to Hardaway for the open three. Right now, trying to help on to Doncic, leaving Hardaway Jr., who connects on a three. Luka finds himself matched up against Wemby above the break in early offense. Since Victor is the Spurs' best shot blocker, that means that there is limited shot blocking blocking on the back end of the defense. So Luca lobs it up to Lively, who finishes it off perfectly. Speaking of Lively, the Mavericks really batted a thousand when they drafted him. All it took was half a game for him to cement himself as the best option the Mavs have at center. His vertical threat makes him such a perfect pairing with Luca. Here, Lively sets the ball screen for Luca and rolls. Luca fakes the layup and lobs it to him for the impressive finish. After Tim Hardaway Jr. misses the three, Lively tips the ball back to him, and when he pulls up again, Wemby almost blocks him. Lively follows the ball, and when the shot rims out again, he is there for the rack attack. Rebound, knocked back to him, his three rolls off, but look at Lively soaring in 
for the flush. With Kyrie and Luka leading the offense, the Mavs have zero problems scoring the ball. It is their defense that will ultimately be the deciding factor for how far they can go. And Lively, as raw as he is, fixes a lot of the problems the Mavs have on that end of the floor. While Victor had spent the majority of his debut on the bench due to foul trouble, the story would change once he checked back into the game in the fourth. Here, Wemby sets the ball screen for Vassell, rolls, and then catches the lob for the layup. This is actually similar to the previous finish from Lively, except for the fact that Wemby's vertical threat is in its own stratosphere. With his team down five in the fourth, Victor decides to dance on the defense, between the legs, hezzy, and then pull up from the three-point line. In transition, he rim runs, seals, and when he gets the ball this low in the paint, it's an easy flush for two. Wemby, the deep catch, the turn, and the flush, plus the foul. And Dad is in the stands, smiling over the young giant. With his team down again, the Spurs run Wemby off of a pair of staggered screens and clear out so he can cook. The result? A mid-range jumper as unblockable as any the league has ever seen. Wemby, so a lot of time. That's what it will be. It will be these quick bursts like right now. But on their first matchup, Luka would have the last laugh. Isolated on the left wing, Luka sizes up his defender and then fakes the drive, only to then snatch the ball back for the patented step back three. In the high post, Luka backs down his man. And when he gets to his spot, he pulls off his best Dirk impression with the one-legged fadeaway. But his best work would actually come on this play. With his team down two, Luka uses the lively ball screen, then reverses it. Now now his defender is trailing, so Luca changes the pace as he gathers, pauses, and then draws the foul for the and one. All Luca can do after that is smile at his own basketball genius. And to top it all off, he finishes the night off by delivering the dagger. Shot clock at four. Doncic. The step back three. You bet! The first mistake people make when they think about the Spurs is that they think that it's just Wimby and a bunch of scrubs, and nothing could be further from the truth. The Spurs have actually surrounded Victor with a very talented young core. Zach Collins, who will be playing the five to help preserve Wimby by being the one who bangs with the Embiid's of the world down low. Keldon Johnson, a forward who is an absolute terror in the paint. Jeremy Sohan the one-handed free-throw shooter whose versatility has versatility. Devin Vassell, the sharpshooting guard who can do things like this. The first time Victor Wembanyama and Luka Doncic faced each other was a masterclass. Luka was the teacher and Victor was the humble pupil. Uh, he didn't seem like being nervous, so uh, he played fucking amazing. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's the first but how will their next matchup go? Subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, or click here to see what happened the first time Victor Wembanyama and Steph Curry faced each other. Hint, it was a movie.